what I'm going to talk about today is how to gobble up market share while your competitors are scared, uh, which is funny. I used the word scared before Harlan ever brought it up um, by rowing in the same direction. So for those of you who don't know my story, um, in 2008, um, you know, I, I basically lost everything in my family. Uh, 2007, I grew up racing dirt bikes and qualified for nationals with limited natural talent, worked my butt off to get there. And um, uh, 2008, I, I ended up breaking my back the year after I qualified for nationals. And went from qualifying for nationals to a millimeter away from being paralyzed in a matter of uh, three months. So went from a very high high to a low low. And in the months that followed, um, you know, my dad's business went completely under. We were almost a million dollars in debt. He didn't tell my mom and me the reality of the situation and it all crumbled on us pretty quickly. So we lost everything we owned. Um, and. Uh, you know, my dad almost um, actually, you know, took his own life because of how serious it got. So um, my purpose in life is to help businesses become recession proof. That's what gets me out of bed in the morning. That's why I started the SMB team, because I operate from a place of pain from what happened to me in 2008. Um, when I remember our house got taken from us and everything we owned and um you know, I had to live in a, a little pink spare bedroom, uh, you know, at, at my uh, my dad's girlfriend's daughter's vacant room because I had nowhere else to live. Um, so uh, I operate from a place that I want to help you build a recession proof business. And in order to build a recession proof business, you have to be on offense. And I sensed myself going into defense mode. Monday, March 16th, which is 15 days prior to today. I walked into my office. My team was scared. I, I tend to be the unshakable optimist on my team. And my team was very scared. You know, COVID-19 was becoming bigger than we thought. It's blowing up in the news. I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. And I thought, you know, how can I fight back against this to prove my team, blah, blah, blah. How can I fight back against coronavirus. But then I had an idea and, and I meditate every day, um, you know, religiously every morning, five years I've meditated. And I thought to myself, well, instead of fighting against it, how could I row in the same direction? Which is the first secret I want to share with you guys right now is how can you row in the same direction as what's on your client's minds right now? Because I'll tell you this much, for the next two, three, four months, you're not gonna be able to take the word COVID or coronavirus out of your client's minds. They, like, just forget that. You can't take it out of their minds. So then the question becomes, how can you row in the same direction as it is, rather than resist it? I'm getting a little echo, guys. If, if everyone could mute out. Um, just heard a little echo, thanks. So. How can I row in the same direction as, um, you know, coronavirus in, in the, my marketing for my company? So fear was high. Everyone was uncertain. So I decided to help my clients by writing a booklet. So that morning, I told my whole team to go home. Um, and most of them were already home because the, they had already put stuff out in the news. And I, I whiteboarded in my office and said, how can I row in the same direction as this? So I literally wrote a book in two hours called How Should Lawyers Respond to Coronavirus with Their Marketing? Put it on a landing page. And you know, as of now, I've generated 200 leads from this little book. I'll show you all the numbers on it. So this ebook was my attention getter for the first round of this webinar, which had half the registrants on it. I got Mike Mogul on it, Seth, Jay, Tyson Mutrix, Ken Hardison from Pilma, and made some great connections in the process. But that ebook was my attention getter in the email request for the speakers on, on my last webinar last week, okay? So in 15 days, here, here are the numbers since that one idea I had. I generated 2,121 new leads for my business, okay? I got 203 downloads of my coronavirus ebook. 
575 registrants for the first webinar, 77 new leads that downloaded that webinar from people who said, oh, it was, it, you know, I like the webinar. Uh, can I get a download from it? Someone told me about it. We had a download link. And then I got over 12, I think we, we breached 1,300. Uh, but when I created this slideshow, it was around 1,200 registrants for this webinar. So when you add all these together, I got over 2,000 leads in 15 days by rowing in the same direction as coronavirus with my content. Okay, it also got me three thought leader interviews, three podcasts it got me on last week, and it allowed me to build relationships with nine, in, nine industry leaders, okay? And some of which are on this call who probably didn't know who I was before this webinar. And now I'm gonna build a relationship with these people because of the fact that all of this happened from one piece of content. So my secret tip, the, the thing I really want you to think about is how can you row in the same direction with your marketing? right? Rather than fight back against coronavirus, how can you create marketing material, communication, et cetera, that helps your clients in your potential practice area? And if you serve many practice areas, how can you help your entire community by making one piece of content go viral in your state, in your market that is related to coronavirus that actually helps people, right? It's been the best lead generation method I've ever done. And think about it, guys. How did you end up here? Okay. I, this is like living proof that this worked. Okay. Like I, you guys probably got an email from me or you saw something on social that said the word lawyer in the title and coronavirus or COVID-19 and the mastermind, right? And you went, oh, I'm a lawyer. Oh, I'm reacting to coronavirus. Oh, I want to mastermind my way through this and be proactive and solve problems. Well, I'll join. It's free. And lo and behold, 2000, you know, lawyers helped later. Like this is exactly how you guys got here. Okay. So you can do this for your clients. So think of the problems you can solve for each practice area right now. You know, people are probably considering, you know, when the courts open back up, you know, hiring a public defender. So, you know, in criminal defense. So you should be putting out content like, hey, what to think about if you're considering saving money to hire a public defender because of coronavirus or personal injury, like you could just target the entire general market that you go after, right? Because anyone can get hurt in personal injury, right? Just to get your name out there and help as many people in your market as possible and to establish your brand as someone who helps people in your market. You know, divorce, how to time your divorce, right? Uh, with coronavirus or the economic impl implications of coronavirus or, you know, there's so many opportunities here with different, uh, you know, messaging you can do by creating a blog post or an ebook like I did that rows in the same direction that helps your potential clients in this time. Okay. So <laughs> Alexander Shinar is doing it. Uh, yeah, I was scrolling through his Instagram yesterday and he's, he's capitalizing on, uh, you know, the, the tiger show on, on Netflix, which Seth, thank you for telling me to watch it. I watched the whole thing. Um, totally worth it, but he's already doing it. He said he's already beyond coronavirus, right? Like this is exactly what Mike Morse is doing with the video you're going to see, right? So he created a commercial about working from home and I'm not going to spoil it right now but he's rowing in the same direction and he's a brilliant marketer, right? I'm rowing in the same direction, not only from the book, but changing our Google ads for lawyer marketing. We're testing this right now. It's not on all of our ads yet, but we're pushing, hey, free virtual consultations, download our COVID-19 ebook for lawyers, um, you know, virtual consultation. This is not the time to turn off your marketing. It's time to get strategic. Uh, adaptable campaigns, right? Adaptable is important right now because you have to stay adaptable because things are changing week by week. So I changed that in my ad. So how can you guys row in the same direction with your marketing communications, right? So my suggestion with this tip is create a helpful piece of COVID-19 content, whether that's an ebook or blog post that relates to your practice area and the pain points your clients are experiencing right now. 
funnel those people into a free consultation thank you page so that once they download your ebook, they're then brought to a page that says, hey, thanks for downloading our book. You want a free virtual consultation? We're still working. And you'll capture tons of leads through the opt-in. Then on the thank you page, you can ask them for a free consultation. As soon as they click download, they're brought to a page that says, hey, schedule a virtual consultation. Can't schedule it now? Schedule it for the future. It's fine. And build your email list. You have to educate yourself on the value of the asset of having an email list for your law firm. I don't care how immediate your firm you, you think it is. Criminal defense, there's still a decision-making process that happens it, even though it's an urgent need. PI, there's still a decision-making process. People push off hiring a lawyer if the, if the injuries aren't crazy severe. Now, if you have an email list and you're reaching out to people, you can get cases from people who reached out but weren't very motivated. So row in the same direction with your marketing. Now, there's a faulty belief probably going through your head. If I create a piece of content, it won't get me immediate cases, right? And th the answer is, yeah, if you don't advertise it, yeah, that belief is correct. You have to put it out there and it also may not get you immediate cases. Get used to it, that's content marketing. Like if you want to build thousands of email lists, believe me, the 2000 plus lawyers who, who opted in for both this webinar and the last one, they're not all going to become clients of mine. That's fine. I'm not looking for that. So stop looking at this immediate get cases, get cases, get cases mentality because it's going to, it's going to, you're going to lose your attention off of huge brand building and email list building opportunities, right? So the more people that know you, the more people will flow you with opportunities. If someone doesn't know you, they can't flow an opportunity to you. And another tip here is when fear is high, lead generation opportunity is at its highest, okay? So think about this. When fear is high in, in the environment of your mind, of your client's minds, right, or the economy, the opportunity to help them is highest, right? More fear equals more questions, and you can answer those questions with your content. Also, the best relationships are built in the trenches. So help your clients while they're in the trenches, okay? Secret number two, make it stupid easy to collect lead information. So I already showed you our lead capture page for this. Like, <laughs> I, I, I wanted to put all this other stuff, and Emily on my team who designed this was like, no. Just make it super simple. The, the title does everything. All of your opt-in pages should be this easy. This, this is literally why I titled my new book, PPC for Lawyers, Not Dummies. Um, because, you know, lawyers want to overcomplicate things. And, you know, this is PPC for lawyers, not dummies. Because lawyers often are too smart to see success in their internet marketing. Right? So simple beats smart every day. So make it stupid easy. I got 80% of my clients last year, lawyers, for my marketing company, SMB team, from this exact landing page. So for all the lawyers who say, I don't click on Google ads, like this is for you. Because I got 80% of my clients from people who clicked on Google ads through this simple opt-in page. Like you don't have to overcomplicate it with how many verdicts you've had and how cool you are you know, it, it doesn't matter when people are in the point of need, especially when it applies to Google ads, right? So you're probably thinking, shouldn't I be pulling my marketing spend right now, not creating these landing page things? And that's fine. Like, you know, that's definitely a more fear-based way of thinking. I think what I want to like reply to that and say is instead of resource abandonment, I think you should be focusing on resource allocation because the big marketers, right? Mike Morse's of the world, like these huge advertisers, they don't think of things in, in terms of pulling the plug or getting out or cutting it off or stopping all, blah, 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 whatever, in any aspect of their marketing. Like they make percentage-based decisions, just like investors. Oh, interesting. I should put a little bit, sprinkle more here. Like Seth said, right? Oh, we should sprinkle more on domestic violence. Oh, you should do this. You know, they're looking at it as they're marketing as an investment portfolio, not a pull the plug. This did not work. You know, fixed all or nothing mindset. So make pivots, 
resource allocation, not abandonment, okay? Secret number three, you need adjustable marketing right now, right? Things are changing week by week, so create an adjustable marketing attack plan, okay? You need to be able to change things quickly. Practice areas, some are booming right now. Google Ads is what I believe the best way to do, to target things quickly and, and do tests and turn things on and off, right? So estate planning, record high month, like all time record high month. Uh, in January, even before this really picked up steam, December, you know, second to that was also a record month. Um, and March's numbers aren't in because today's the last day of the month. Employment law, 20% uh, uh, increase since December in demand, okay? Truck accidents, February was a record high for all time of ever on Google. Um, it wasn't that crazy of, of an uptick, but it was an, a record high for the history of Google for truck accident lawyer searches. Um, because there's an increase in consumer shipping, there's been disruption with people doing uh, you know, drop shipping by you know, Amazon, tons of different things. So, so I, you're probably thinking now, oh, things are changing so fast, well, what if it doesn't work by the time I launch a new campaign, right? Well, like I said, Google ads, landing pages, like you, you have to like get this in your arsenal as a law firm and, and you need to learn how to do this. That's why SMB team's YouTube channel, we literally have 170 videos on how to do legal PPC. I just put out an entire step-by-step -step series on how we do this. Um, you have to get this in your adjustable marketing arsenal. Okay. And like everyone was saying, it's not too expensive right now because it's a hot topic, right? If you're sending any of your leads, I don't care if they click on a Google ad or a Facebook ad or whatever, a social post that you do, an email, and you send them to a coronavirus book on anything related to your area of law, like your cost of acquisition is going to be the lowest it's ever been. I'm not saying your cost per case acquisition. I'm saying your cost per lead acquisition because people are converting on this content that's relevant to their niche, okay? So if you combine all of this with helpful content on COVID, meaning an adjustable Google ad strategy, landing page, and an ebook, you can really succeed when it comes to capitalizing on this opportunity, okay? So I have two questions to you. Question number one, are you gonna be set up for the boom that's coming? When this deprival period of work from home ends, and there's a surge in demand, are you gonna be ready or have you sheltered yourself so much to the point where you're gonna be way behind the ball when that takes place? My next question is, are you set up with an adjustable plan for the now? And again, in the Q&A, we're gonna be going through all of this. Um, so, you know, you guys uh, can obviously do a lot of this yourself. If you want my team to help you in any way, we're giving some limited time webinar offers. If you take advantage of any of these two offers today, we'll give you a waived setup fee for life if you ever end up working with us. 100% of whatever you end up doing with us today will be credited towards your first three months with us if you ever decide to hire us in the future. We'll cover all your call rail, phone call tracking, and we'll let you use our ClickFunnels landing page account for free so you don't have to buy one yourself. Number one is you can have us create a lawyer e-booklet for you on your practice area and how it relates to coronavirus. And if you're interested in that, the URL is smb.team. Okay, that's smb, small, medium business, dot team. Okay. And then the next one is a one-time setup offer that we've never offered before, except I think to one person. I don't know if she's on this, ECs. Um, we've offered it one time in, in the world and it was a really good success. Um, so we decided, you know, since people don't want to commit long-term to marketing plans right now because there's a lot of uncertainty, how can we, you know, offer things of value that can help you get immediate traction right now? Well, we thought there's three things we can do. We can help you set up a landing page one time. We can help you set up a Google ad account one time, or we can help you do both one time. So if you're interested in that, go to helpmylawfirmgrow.com. That's help 
mylawfirmgrow.com. Um, so thank you guys so much. Uh, my goal here is to help you turn this obstacle, coronavirus, into an opportunity. Mm -hmm.